Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. It looks like here you know who this person is. You have a strong soul tie with them. For some of you all, this person could be a twin flame or they could be a soulmate here. But either way, the two of you have a soul tie and you have a very strong connection. Okay, so you could feel like this person, you know, this is giving like lover's energy here. You could be a Gemini or be dealing with a Gemini here. There is a soul contract here, whether you know it or not. Okay, but I feel like you guys know that, right? When you meet somebody and you feel like, you know, it's it's a strong connection and it's all fun, it's all passionate, it's 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 moving real fast, whatever it is. This person can't stop thinking about you or this is you, you can't stop thinking about them. So there could be little communication, maybe no communication. And really what I'm getting here is that there's no communication between the two of you guys. So, um, <laughs> listen... Obviously, this person did something to you because they literally are heartbroken and deeply sad over the situation and the separation. And they're feeling like you're, they're feeling you either A, pulling back your energy, right? If you pull back your energy from this person, some of you all could have done a cord cutting ceremony or you could have called your, your energy back into your space. And if you, you know, I, I recommend that you do that, okay? Because it works but if if you're still feeling like grieving a breakup or a separation but if this isn't you your person is grieving this and they're thinking about you and they miss you so much this person is thinking about the conversations that the two of you have had in their head they're thinking about something very significant that i feel like you you said something to this person that nobody ever heard like whatever it is that you said to this person they're playing it over and over and it's like something that I feel like you stood up for yourself in this instance where you said something and nobody had ever said anything. I feel like people before you, this person's family or friends or people they even dated in the past could have enabled this person's behavior. And you said something to this person or whatever you did or however you stood up for yourself or however you set these boundaries really has this person like thinking like oh my goodness i might need to change like this is you know this is really something i need to change about myself the reason why i say that too is because the butterfly energy is here and this is about healing your inner child wounds this is about growing you know and i don't even know if you can see here but there's also a butterfly in this heartbroken card in this girl's ear and that's another reason why I'm saying, like, I think you said something that's triggered. It may, at the time, it may have triggered this person and pissed them off collective. But low-key, this, whatever you said or did really has this person reevaluating, like, oh, shit. Like, did I really show up that way? Did I really do that? Or was I, am I really this person? Yeah, this person's realizing, like, yeah, they are really that person. They really did that. They really have a lot of growing and healing to do. They do. The Phoenix is here. Okay, Scorpio energy. I like to call it, but I mean, it could be, this person could be any sign. Regardless, this person, there's an energy of renewal. There's an energy of like somebody changing their mind, wanting to transform. And also they want to rekindle something with you because they're in this heartbroken, grieving and like, mourning the loss of not speaking to you and communicating because look what else came out. Love call. This person wants to talk to you and have a conversation. They either want to call you or make some form of like romantic gesture because they're thinking about you and they really want to let you know. They really want to let you know. So let's see. Let's pull some tarot and see what's going on with this person. So please, Holy Spirit, can you show me here for the collective view? What's going on? Look at that. This person wants to come towards you. Two of Cups and the Six of Swords. What is this? <laughs> How is this person feeling here about my collective viewer? Justice. You could be dealing with a Libra. Or you could be a Libra. The moon. A Cancer energy here. Mm. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. I feel like this person hid their emotions from you. They hid their emotions from you. Let's get some more information here. Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This person is really thinking and they want to communicate and talk with you. They might be quiet. There, there goes... I'm telling you this person wants to come towards you, Cancer. 
energy here. I feel like you're blocking it. <sighs> this person is held back for as long as I feel like they possibly could. Especially with this. They're probably getting karma too. But the strength card, Leo energy at the bottom of the deck with the nine of swords. This person is dreaming about you. This person is fighting off any thoughts or feelings that they have about you. And they're doing everything they can to try to fight this and try to tame this demon. This person is trying to tame their own demons. They're trying to hold back from you, calling you. Because I feel like this person may have showed up as like really arrogant. For some of y'all, I feel like sometimes this person could have been very aggressive because they were projecting onto you. They were not, the, yeah, this person was projecting onto you. I feel like they definitely did used to do that. The Justice card, the moon, nine of cups, queen of swords, the chariot. It's just like this person, I do feel like they were selfish. They held, held back their emotions. I feel like they hid things from you. They made excuses for their behavior. A little bit boastful is kind of giving me sometimes even aggressive for some of y'all. This person could have been like super aggressive here. For some of y'all, this person could work in law enforcement too with the Justice card and the Queen of Swords being here because like that energy is, energy is someone here like could be a law enforcement officer, maybe a lawyer or someone who works in the court system or could be a correctional officer or police officer, anything of that nature, okay? Y you know, like I said, secretly, I feel like this person could be getting karma. They want to bring balance back into the situation. This person has a lot of insecurities and fear. They mask their selfish behavior in these just these insecurities with insecurities yeah look all right some of y'all this could be a twin flame four of wands this person wants to reunite with you hmm for some of y'all this person could have thought you were going to you were going to come back come crawling back and this person is like realizing like oh the collective is not coming back and crawling back to me oh shit what do i do what do i do now why is the justice card here? Let's clarify these major arcana. Yeah, they want to bring balance back into the situation. Two of Cups. Hmm, they cannot hide these emotions anymore. I'm telling you, this person misses your touch. Look at that Scorpio energy under the under the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy is about endings, right? But it's also about endings and new beginnings. And look at what's underneath that. The Six of Wands. This is to me like the same energy of like somebody knowing they need to change and transform. And I feel like this person is like, I feel like they fought changing. They fought this transformation because they didn't want to do the work. They didn't want to, they didn't want to do the work. So I don't know how long you've been separated from this person, but for some of y'all, it could be six weeks. For some of y'all, it could be six months. For some of you, it could be six years. Okay, four four years, four months, nine months, two months. It's going to be different for all of you, but this this person wants to talk. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. This person's getting ready to come in and say, I've changed. Eight of Wands and the King of Swords. Somebody wants to talk. I don't know if this person's gonna come back in arrogant and boastful though. I hope I hope not, because it looks like they are kind of in that energy. Or they they may reach out to you impulsively, you know, like a drunk text or a drunk call. Uh, why is the moon here? Why is the moon? Ooh, ten of pentacles in reverse. So for some of you all, this 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 fear could be family and friends influencing. For some of y'all, this person could be afraid to come towards you too or was afraid because they didn't have their money together. Something was going on with their home or their finances. Show me more on the moon. Why is the moon here? Whoa, page of cups. And this was like crossing. It almost fell out. Page of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a younger water sign here. Bottom of the deck is the world. This person wants to apologize for listening to their family and their friends. 
Mm-hmm. Queen of Cups energy. It's kind of giving narcissist empath connection a little bit here. All right, why is the chariot here? Clarify the chariot, please. Um, the page of this person wants to talk and come towards you, okay, or take some form of action here. I feel like this this is random. <laughs> this is so random. But this person is like very attracted to your body, and I feel like your favorite part of their body is like their chest or your chest. Okay, they they really love that about you. I know that's random. Somebody here may call or text you and be like, hey, I'm on the way. Can you meet me here? Or can you meet me there? Or I, I want to come travel towards you. You know, can you talk? W are you willing to talk? Show me more here about this page of wands and the chariot card, please. Somebody could also be working the medical field, too. Ooh, yeah, I told you. King of Swords in reverse. See, so I feel like this is you showing up as this Queen of Swords, right? You turned your back to the selfishness, and I feel like you're kind of creating this block. Um, or you set up boundaries in a block, right? Your person's coming out in the reverse. This is somebody here who I feel like has some nasty things to say to you. I don't know. Or they did in the past. Or just be mindful because there is some energy here. This King of Swords in reverse if you continue to set boundaries up or whatever, either this person is A, showing up as, yeah, you walked away from it. Hold on. The bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. It's the Eight of Cups. You walked away from this. Or, they, or they're walking away from something else. This is real random, but your person could have been betrayed by a mother figure. Or like an ex-lover or um, they had somebody betray them or stab them in the back or something. Somebody set this person up. So like if this was this person's family or friends, whatever this family, these family, or this people, whoever these external influences were, they just set them up for failure is what they did. It had this person all in their head. Look at this. Whatever this talk was. This had them all, yep, and look, there goes that emperor. I'm going to show you all this. This is, there's that emperor. We got the eight of swords, the um, seven of um, wands, the ten of wands, and the hangman, Pisces energy, Aries energy. Man, there's a bunch of drama and conflict around this person, and I feel like... This person is like, I can't believe I listen to these people or allow these people. This person's been through a lot, and I feel like that just has nothing to do with you, but I feel like they took it out on you. Now, and here's you. This is the stuff on the bottom of the deck I was saying. This is why I said earlier, like, you walked away, or this is this person. Um, You walked away, right? Here's the Empress, right? The Knight of Cups is behind this Empress. Okay, but for some of y'all, this is there is a family member. I'm telling you, either like a mother figure or like an ex wife or somebody they have children with. This person like abandoned them, they weren't nurtured by this person. If this was like a mother figure, they weren't nurtured by this person, or this mother figure did, didn't even want to see them move on. There's some weird attachment, like this person, this, this empress may depend on this person for finances or something or to pay bills or whatever it is that's not for everybody okay but for you i feel like you're still showing up as the empress you walked away from and you set healthy boundaries queen of swords but this person wants to talk to you and they're viewing you as somebody who's like don't come near me unless you're telling the truth i'm ready for battle i'm ready to fight but this king of swords in reverse though energy though i feel like this person may low-key get upset if you don't accept their apology because they don't know how to handle rejection. Show me more on this King of Swords, please. Six of Cups. This is this person is in this reverse energy because of their childhood or their upbringing. Yeah, that's why they're in this karmic ass cycle. 
This is why they can't, they want to have, they want to start over, but they got some healing to do and some changes to make. Four of Swords, the Fool, and the World card. This person's been going through this cycle. I feel like whether it was you or somebody else, you could have just been the catalyst to trigger this person to change or, toward, or to see themselves. Show me more on this King of Swords, please. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Yeah, that Knight of Swords is coming back out again. I'm telling you. <sighs> yeah. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And the Sun card. And the Hierophant. And the Knight of Wands. Somebody may want to have a baby here. What is, where, why, where is that coming from? They want to reconcile with you. They may even want to get married here. I just, there's a song. I think, is it called Matrimony? Um, Wale? Go listen to that song. I think it's called Matrimony. I don't know. Or is that song with Usher? Uh, if there's a question of my love, you got it. Something don't belong to anyone but you. Yeah. Um, I know I can't sing, but <laughs> y'all get me drift, okay? I just still feel like I don't know if this person is come either this energy is coming from this aggression is coming from past wounds, childhood wounds for sure, because this person is definitely in some aggressive energy, like I was saying. Or they could have come across that way to you, or they could have been abused as a child for some of you all. And also, too, you know, I mean, no, I'm just, that's just what it is. I don't know what else to tell you. That's what it is. Let's pull some message cards real quick. Show me what else here. Wait, what was that? Betrayal, dishonesty. Some of you all, this person definitely is dishonest. They definitely cheated quality time this person wants to spend time and talk with you so you got you and this person could have spent a lot of time on the phone together reconciliation just wanted to come out this person wants a new, a new start with you and it's coming towards you rather quickly so you do have an apology coming towards you rather quickly i'm just a little nervous that if you don't accept it and you reject this person they might get an attitude that's how you test that person to see if they've changed don't give in right away and see how they react Show me what else. Yeah, gross. yeah, within a few weeks. Within a few weeks, this person's coming back around. Twin flame, past life connection, within a few weeks. This could be new energy too, but somebody or something is coming towards you. We've got past life connection, and we have twin flame divine connection. Yeah, you're definitely going to get a phone call. Somebody's trying to hang out with you, spend time with you, travel towards you. Yeah. You may um, have left this person behind because they had a lack of self-worth. This person was struggling. Like I said, they had a lot of insecurities. A lot. And they got a lot of work to do. So if most of you all are just leaving this person behind and moving forward because it just didn't work for you. And you felt like you're not, you're not in Build-A-Bear. You're not going to help somebody grow and heal. You're not, it's not your job to do their healing work for them. You're not a therapist. And this may have felt like you low key because I saw that Queen of Cups. Like that's how you showed up as the Empress and the Queen of Cups. You were like very loving and nurturing. And then some of you all may have really tried to love this person to healing and you did, which is good, but it doesn't mean that they're ready. This healing takes time. And, and, you know, so some of you all are going to either A, allow this person to travel towards you within a few weeks and reconnect, uh, you know, and some of you all are like, no, you hurt me, you cheated, you lied, you were aggressive, you have money problems or, you know, the mother is in the way or whatever it is, or baby's mother is in the way. It's like, it's just not going to work. So you're just like, it's okay to move on and leave behind what's not working for me. Let's see what's in your energy. So what can the collective, what's in the collective's energy when it comes to future energy here?
Sula Wands, the Tower, the Star, and Two of Pentacles. Well, you're very undis... You, you don't know what you, you want to do. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, you're not sure which direction to go. If this person comes towards you, you're going to be like shocked. Yeah. You're going to be shocked. You have a wish fulfillment coming towards you and it could be a new person here. Something that's unexpected and shocking. And you're going to be in this energy of like, oh shoot, you may even decide to juggle the old person with the new person here. And then you might be a little bit confused. I'm not going to lie. Show me future. Ooh. The emperor on the bottom of the deck with the six of cups in reverse. Look at that. Ouch. This person's not happy. They're not happy. Show me future energy here for the collective. <coughs> what can they expect? Healing. Focus on your healing. Come out of this grief and focus on your happiness here. That's what you should be doing. You're moving. Yeah, I... Some of y'all might run away from this person and continue to do this healing work. Temperance and Four of Swords. Yeah. A lot of y'all are going to decide to focus on yourselves. Sagittarius and Aquarius energy and Scorpio energy here. Libra energy is here. A lot of Cancer energy. Aries. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, those are the zodiac signs that I'm seeing here. And there's a little bit of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. This person is kind of unstable right now. I, either their finances are unstable or this person listened to their karmic family members. Okay, or their child, childhood was just so unstable. This person, that's why this person is such an awful narcissist because they have mommy issues or daddy issues. Flip and switch it. I love y'all. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel.